Hello and welcome to part 16 of video series in the Blender game engine. In this video, I'll be showing you how to actually export your Blender game into either a Windows program, a .exe file, or into a Mac app that anybody can play on either of those two platforms of computers. You'll notice that in this video, I'm actually on a Windows computer right now. We'll be switching over halfway in this video over to a Mac, but let's go ahead and show you how to export to an EXE on a Windows computer. I've got the startings of a game here, and if you've checked out my Facebook page in a recent post, I've talked about what I'm doing with this, and you can go and check that out uh, for yourself. But if I go ahead and play my game, I'll press P. Uh, I've got a little spaceship that I can control, and I can fire, and the cool thing about this is that I can go off one side of the screen and it'll come on the other side of the screen and I can fire and shoot in kind of an infinite world. It's the start of a game, but I want to export it now. So I'll press escape on my keyboard. What we have to do to export to an EXE Windows program is first enable an add-on which lets us do that. So I'll go up to the file menu and go to user preferences and I'll bring this window to the forefront and in the middle, I'll make it a little bit taller. In this user preferences window of Blender, the first tab is the interface tab. That's what you'll come up uh, to at first, but then we'll go over to the add-ons tab and we'll find that first you'll have a whole big long list of add-ons and we'll go down to the game engine section. This will filter only to the uh, add-ons that are for the game engine. And there are two available that look very, very similar. There's the game engine, game engine publishing and game engine save as game engine runtime. Um, it's the second one, the one that in this version of Blender does not have this little exclamation mark. Um, but we'll enable it. So you want to make sure that these check marks, and you can do both of them, it's totally okay, are enabled. And then you'll need to click on Save User Settings. I've already gone ahead and enabled these. Uh, they won't be by default, but I'll click on Save User Settings, and then I'll close the preferences. To export to a Windows EXE and for a Mac app, which we'll do in the second half of this video, it's exactly the same process. You go to the File menu, you go to Export, and then because we enabled that add-on, it's right here, save as game engine runtime. What this will do is let us navigate to somewhere on our computer. I'm just gonna to go to my uh, desktop and I'll be able to save, as you can see, a .exe file on a Windows computer. Uh, .exe is of course an executable file. It's actually a program. That's what most Windows programs are. So I'm gonna just call this game uh, .exe. And uh, when I click Save as Game Engine Runtime, it might actually cause Blender to uh, pause a little bit. It actually will look like it's not responding maybe at first, uh, so you might have mixed results. But I'll click on Save uh, as Game Engine Runtime, and it will take a second because it's putting quite a few files uh, where you specify. In this case, it's going to my desktop. All right, so it did its thing. It took about 15 seconds there. Let's go ahead and minimize uh, Blender. And as you can see now on my desktop, which almost had nothing on it before, we now have a bunch of DLL files. These are Windows um, files that are required uh, for some programs. I'm not really sure how to explain them too well. Uh, but here we have game.exe. What all these other parts are, they are necessary, uh, but they actually, especially this 2.75 folder, and it'll be a different number if you've got a different version of Blender, um, this actually contains a Python folder and a Python library. Uh, Blender is actually written in Python, and so is the Blender game engine, and it actually relies that it needs all these things. So all of these files need to accompany on a Windows computer your exe file. So you can't just email somebody your exe file. It has to be a whole folder containing uh, the exe. But now this exe file will work. If I double click on it, it'll actually launch my game and I can control the game with my mouse and I can press W to move forward. I can just shoot it. It works exactly the same as it did uh, in Blender itself. If you watched the last video in this series, you'll know how to create a pause function in your game. So if I press P on my keyboard, uh, the pause function is enabled, so it's pause my game. I've got my mouse cursor back, which I talked about in the last video as well, so now I can actually move my mouse around, and I can close the window or move it around, or I can press P to go back into my game. By default, in a Blender game, you don't have a mouse cursor, and so the only way to actually close or move this app window is to press escape, and by default, the game engine runtime, your EXE, will just quit when you press the escape key. That's why in the last video, we didn't use the escape key to pause the game, we used the P key your keyboard to pause the game. All right, so that's exporting a game to an exe file in Windows. Let's go ahead and move over to the Mac side now. All right, so I've got the same file open on my Mac. Let's go ahead and I'll go to the file menu. I'm going to enable that same add-on. So file and then user preferences. 
I'll bring it to the middle of the screen and make it a little bit bigger for us. Uh, we have under the add-ons tab all the add-ons available to us. Let's go ahead and filter them down to the game engine one. So I'll click on game engine and we'll need to enable both. Actually, we can just enable the bottom one, the one without that little exclamation mark, the save as game engine runtime one, but I'll enable both of them and I'll click on save user settings and then close that window. Let's go to the file menu to export. So file, export, and then save as game engine runtime. This will export as a Mac app. Uh, and a Mac app is a little bit cleaner than a Windows EXE because an app is actually a package. It's like a zip file kind of, or a folder uh, that Mac knows what to do with. So I'll just call this game.app uh, and I'm saving to my desktop and I'll click on save as game engine runtime. And it might take a sec. So let's go ahead and switch over to my desktop now. And as you can see on my desktop, I have a thing called game.app. It took a second to load the icon there, but it's got the Blender icon. And if I double click on it, it'll run. And my Mac is asking me, are you sure you wanna open this untrusted uh, app file? Yes, I will. And as you can see, I've got my game. And again, you don't see your mouse cursor in the game, um, but that's because it's hidden by default in Blender. And I can press P to pause my game and I get my mouse cursor back again because of that pause function that we made in the last video. So that's how you export to an EXE uh, file on a Windows computer and a Mac app if you're on that system. That'll be the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.